what you can do is you can right click and if you come down here this is the the other thing you can do you can go spread value and what this does is it enables you to spread a value starting from the number you put in here so if I put one in here what it would do is it would spread a value for alterable value A throughout the objects. These these are the built-in functions. Now, um, what are alterable values? As I say, these are these are accessed, but they're they're not really viewable through any of these um, options here. Now, in in the original Multimedia Fusion, you can actually rename these alterable values, but uh, in um, Multimedia Fusion 2, you can't actually do that. Same with the the Games Factory and Games Factory 2. It's it's not possible to do that now. Right then, so here's how things occur with alterable values. Normally, with a counter, so if you've got a counter, if you add one to that counter, every duplicate of counter will also have one added to it. Now, that is uh, handy in some ways, but what you're really wanting is if you want if you've got multiple enemies, you don't want to add one to the enemy and it affect every single one of them. So, for example, if we've got enemy one, enemy two, enemy three, when we shoot enemy one with a bullet, we don't want to add one to its damage and then it affect all the others also. If that happens, then we're basically going to end up with all the enemies dying at once and it's not really individual um, health bars. So, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> now, what you can do is by using these alterable values, you can add values to your enemies or to an object type. So, these are just the same enemy object like we did just a minute ago we just copied them straight in the same one so they're all called enemy they're all the same type of object but using an alterable value we can say add one to the alterable value a now this will only affect that object providing that you have a collision so you say when the bullet hits this object then add one to the alterable value A of this object. So now this one has um, one added to it, but these have not. Now you've got to be careful, obviously, with your condition, because if your condition uh, doesn't reference to the enemy, then you're not going to be able to refer to it to add the alterable value. Now, then, in theory, by using alterable values, this one could have uh, one added to it for damage. You could have one over here, which is plus five, and one over here who's almost dead at, say, plus nine. And that way, then, you can shoot multiple objects and they will all have independent health. So that's how alterable values work. So let's put that into practice now. So here we are back in our project. And if I come in here, um, what I can do is, this is another addition that you can add. If you select one of the baddies, and then if you come in here, you can go into this events tab. And you can give it a qualifier. So you don't have to refer to it but as enemy. You could refer to it as, say, bad, which is here and you could add bad as a qualifier and you could refer to that instead. So then you can have multiple enemy types. So you could have this enemy, you could have a blue version of it that does different types of things. And you could have um, damage related um, events happening to the group rather than the individual. But in this case, we're gonna stick with a collision between that and the enemy. So, um, instead of having the event for them dying equal to when the counter is equal to zero, we are going to um, instead, we're still going to leave the destroy, but we're going to remove the one which adds to the counter. In fact, we're going to remove all events to do with the counter, and we are going to now instead select an alterable value. So we're going to go uh, right click for when the collision occurs between the bullet and the enemy and we go to alterable values 
and we're going to go add to alterable value A1. And then we're going to change this one. So we're going to replace this event with when the um, alterable value compares. Oh, that's opened over here. Is equal to or equal or greater than would be a better idea. 10, so equal or greater than 10, then we destroy like we did before. So now what we've done is we've cut out the counter for now. So if I then go and play this level, drag it over here. And if I then aim at this guy and shoot him, there you go, that's the 10th shot. And he's dead as well. And as you can see, they all have separate health bars. Um, well, separate, separate health. 